Welcome to Complexity in Context, where we are going to break down how to work with complex and distributed technologies in modern software environments. My name is Ali Gerard, and on this episode, I'm going to show you how to monitor Kubernetes with New Relic so you can quickly troubleshoot and explore all of the different layers of your Kubernetes clusters. Adopting Kubernetes requires teams to rethink and adapt their monitoring strategies to account for new layers introduced in these highly distributed environments. This means you need to be able to proactively monitor and observe data and metadata for nodes, deployments, pods, containers, as well as front-end and back-end applications and hosts running in your Kubernetes clusters. We support vanilla Kubernetes 1.6 and higher, as well as managed services like EKS, GKE, AKS, and OpenShift. To get started monitoring Kubernetes with New Relic, you'll need to deploy the infrastructure agent onto your Kubernetes cluster. Within minutes of deploying the agent, you'll have access to key metrics like container CPU usage, memory usage, container restarts, and a lot more. You can follow the instructions in our user interface or refer to the documentation site for more information on installation and configuration. Let's see what this looks like. Immediately after deploying the agent, you'll be able to access the Kubernetes integration dashboard. In addition to giving visibility into operational data like number of resources used, namespaces per cluster, namespaces per pod, and container restarts, the dashboard also lets you see the relationship between objects in the cluster. While this dashboard provides a good starting point, to be able to understand what is really happening in your cluster, you'll want to navigate to the Kubernetes tab and see the Kubernetes Cluster Explorer. You can use the Cluster Explorer to observe performance and dependencies across any Kubernetes environment. In this view, you'll see a cluster of nine nodes with concentric circles. Each circle is an area of interest, with objects in the center being the most critical. This outer ring shows nodes of the cluster. Each node will have indicators for CPU, memory, and storage. As you move inward, you'll see these hexagons that show the distribution and status of pods associated with the selected node. Pods in red here mean that an alerting threshold has been breached, indicating that these pods may have health issues even if they are still running. Finally, pods that are in the center indicate that pods are not running, or that Kubernetes is unable to schedule those pods and that they need attention. Clicking into a pod will access detailed information about the dependencies of that pod, as well as a specific set of performance metrics for the pod, containers, and running applications. In this example, you'll see the pod is pending and the container is waiting due to an invalid image name. You can also see important details at the application level, including access to metrics that track response time, throughput, error rate, and violations. Any pod that is running an APM application will have a link on that pod pane. Clicking on this link will open up a new tab in New Relic APM. In the APM UI, you can see the transaction trace, distributed trace span, or error trace associated with that application running in your Kubernetes environment. This allows you to correlate infrastructure and applications so that you can troubleshoot issues regardless of which side you need to approach the problem from. Navigating back to the Cluster Explorer, you'll need to go to New Relic Infrastructure and again, click on the Kubernetes tab. The Cluster Explorer has advanced filtering so you can divide and view your cluster in multiple ways. Just select the namespaces, deployments, or labels you care about for a more curated view based on what's important to you and your role. At the bottom, you can also view a complete list of all nodes, pods, and containers in a cluster. Again, these can be filtered by status or based on resource usage for troubleshooting purposes. All of these capabilities support a proactive approach to monitoring your Kubernetes environment. Today, we covered how you can use New Relic to explore and troubleshoot all of the different layers of your Kubernetes clusters. Thank you for watching this episode of Complexity in Context. And if you enjoyed it, please hit the like button below and subscribe to get all of the latest episodes right when they come out. To learn more, check out the additional links in the description below.